In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to make the in the hoop tag. These tags come in all kinds of different shapes, so really they all work the exact same way. Once you learn how to do one, you can do all of them. So grab your machine and let's get stitching. Be sure to download the instructions and go ahead and print them out as well. All your supplies and materials are all listed in the instructions and even the tools that I use specifically, there are links to them. Go ahead and hoop your tearaway stabilizer and make sure that you tighten up the hoop. And then for one extra little measure of reassurance that the hoop's tight, I push the inside hoop toward the outside hoop and then tighten it once again. Go ahead and insert your thread, your needle, and your bobbin in your machine. So stitch number one, which is going to be the placement stitch for the front of your tag. Now, depending on the shape that you're working with, you can adjust the direction of your vinyl or your cork, or whichever material you're using. But once you find the placement, go ahead and place some clear adhesive tape along the top and bottom. Insert the hoop into the machine and you are going to now sew stitch number two, which is the placement stitch for the ID window. Place that little plastic window right over top of your stitching and you want to make sure that the one edge of that vinyl is going to be lined up right there along the opening of the stitching. Now place some clear adhesive tape along definitely that opening and then along the top and the bottom and you might want to do it along the other side as well. Now insert your hoop into the machine and sew the next stitch sequence which is going to be the secure stitch for that ID window. Now you are going to remove the tape along the what would be the top and the bottom of the ID window and use some duckbill applique scissors to cut as close to the stitching as possible without cutting the stitching. And now that you're finished doing your cutting, make sure you leave that tape over the opening and sew the next stitch sequence, which is the decorative stitching. Turn your hoop to the wrong side and place the back piece of the vinyl over the stitching and place it with tape on the top and bottom. And now insert your hoop into the machine and sew the final two stitches. Now you're going to remove the materials from the hoop and remove all that tearaway stabilizer around the outside of your tag and use some short sharp scissors and you're going to cut about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch away from the outside stitching. Honestly, the distance is entirely up to you and you know what, for fun, you could use pinking shears or like a wavy rotary cutter. So just kind of have some fun. Discard those materials and now it's time to remove the tape from the ID window and you could use the scissors or a seam ripper and honestly, I found that a straight pin worked really great. And now it's time to punch the eyelet and I used my crop dial and it's just really easy to go through all the layers. Just make sure you use the appropriate size punch for whichever size eyelet you have. Then you're going to take the eyelet with the pretty flat side uh, on the front of the tag and then use the actual setter part of the crop dial or whatever your eyelet pressing tool is. And now it's time to fill in your name tag and it's just, this is where the fun part is. Are you going to use it for a luggage tag or a name tag? Is it going to be for when you go to sewing class for your sewing machine? Is it going to be a gift tag? It's really entirely up to you. For these instructions, I did use just a little key ring with a little swivel clip, but you could also use one of these little chain tags as well, or a traditional plastic luggage tag or ribbon. I mean, honestly, it's really entirely up to you. In fact, I can't wait to see what exactly you all come up with.